Welcome to this demonstration of EdgeCam Solids Machinist. During the next five minutes you will witness the creation of a solid model, how toolpaths are automatically created on the features belonging to that solid model using knowledge-based machining. This rapid manufacturing process is gouge-free, thus minimizing your downtime and maximizing your profits. We'll begin very shortly in EdgeCam Part Modeler, which is a 3D modeling tool specifically designed for quick and simple construction of solid models. It's cost-effective and easy to use. As you will see in this demonstration, it's the perfect complement to Edge Camp Solid Machinist. Here we see the final design stages of a dry patch cover. Using a simple intuitive operation, a chamfer is added to the model and the user selects the edge. Part model will also add the stock required to the machine the part. The part is now saved and using the inline launch command it is delivered to Edge Camp Solid Machinist. Models from all major CAD systems including Inventor, SolidWorks and Solid Edge are loaded directly to EdgeCam, thus ensuring the integrity of your design is maintained. Using our Solid Machinist product, EdgeCam now uses automatic feature recognition to interrogate the solid model and add stock and quickly identify machinable features. Seamlessly the part is now loaded to an Akuma mill turn centre where it is positioned in a 3 jaw chuck. Full machine tool graphics are fully supported in EdgeCam. The user needs to recreate the shop floor here on his screen. At the press of a button EdgeCam deploys rapid manufacturing session using Strategy Manager. Observe the left hand side of the screen. The CAM instructions are automatically created and the stock is always updated. Where a strategy has not been created. A user can of course easily create a manual CAM instruction. See in the example how a whole feature is selected. An operation dialog is launched. Moving through this intuitive command, EdgeCam uses this graphical interface to guide and advise a user how to set up the instruction. Using this technique EdgeCam dramatically reduces learning curves and allows the customer to obtain maximum payback on their investment. A C-axis drilling cycle is now executed and the user reruns the command in order to witness the toolpaths and to check that there are zero collisions. Although a part may not be completely, completely machined, EdgeCam delivers the up to the minute part program. Here we witness the CNC output being created for the FANUC language. EdgeCam supports all other CNC languages including Heidenheim, Siemens. For that penultimate peace of mind, the user now launches EdgeCam Machine Simulator. Supplied standard within EdgeCam, Machine Simulator accurately displays the toolpaths and advises the user of any collisions. Here we see the final stages of the turning command using the Capto tool. The component can now be sectioned, allowing the user to view the internal details. It is critical that the user has complete confidence in the process, especially when working blind inside the bore feature as we now witness. The tool now retires the tool change and a capsule B45 groove tool is now used and a castellation strategy deployed on the groove feature. Castellation is favoured as it increases tool life. The C-axis is again used to mill the square feature found at the back of the part. All the time EdgeCam checks and reports collisions. Does the face of the turret collide against the stock? If so, we would see a red gouge. Once again, the tool retires and the planar set of PCD holes are now drilled. The chuck will very shortly re-index back to a further C-axis position in order to now allow the machining of the rotary holes found around the component diameter. Even though the part is now fully machined and the part program has been created we need to change the model. Due to an engineering design change the model has now been altered but that does not mean that the whole machining process is redundant. Here we see the part being reloaded Notice the square feature has been altered to a hexagon. The rotary holes have been moved to the angle face. 
but this does not cause a challenge to EdgeCam. The CAM instructions have been seamlessly updated and the part will very shortly be again checked inside the machine simulator in order to offer the user that penultimate peace of mind. The whole process has taken a matter of seconds to handle that design change. And again, the toolpaths, as we can see, are being rechecked for the new component. I do hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of EdgeCam Solve Machinist. Thank you.